Hello friends, um, welcome to my kid videos. Yes, um, earlier on I did a video on using two timer switches for automatic control of the egg tenner motor. All right. So here is the diagram, the circuit diagram for that particular um, video. Yeah. So you can look down below. You're gonna see the link. To that video I made earlier all right so in this video I just want to explain how I did the wiring okay yeah so by the way if if you like the video you can subscribe and hit the like key all right and don't forget to turn on the notification button all right so over here I have my 220 volt power supply all right that's the life and neutral so all my red lines are neutral lines okay and then the black lines are um, life lines okay yeah so if you look behind the timer switch okay the one in the video if you look behind it this is how the rear view is okay you have port one two four and then five okay same as this all right Good. So we have the power side and we have the load side or the relay side. Okay. And then over here I have limit switch. Okay. Limit switch. Now the limit switch has three positions. We have the, the common connection. We have the normally opened connection and we have the normally closed connection. Okay. So for this purpose, I'm not using the normally opened. I'm using normally closed okay so if anything should activate the switch it's going to cut it's going to cut the flow from the common to the closed okay to the normally closed okay all right so as you can see we have lifeline feeding to the power side of this timer switch and then to the same side of this timer switch and then we have this is a looping okay this is just a short wire you use to connect port one and then port four okay same as the second timer switch you connect port one to port four okay so it's the same lifeline running through to port four okay so when the switch is activated we have the life continuing to the common of the lemon switch and then since it's normally closed you have the flow going to one side of the motor okay when you take the motor the type i used in the video you will have three connections on top the middle one is always the neutral the middle connection is always the neutral then you have life feeding to the other side the left or the right side okay so one life from one of the lemon switches and then the other life from the second timer okay yeah so this little semicircle is telling us the the line the wire is not supposed to join this particular one it's supposed to you know go over it all right yes so um this is um the circuit diagram for that particular connection and then um, if you have any questions you can ask i'll be glad to answer and then if you think there's a better approach to this um, you can let me know thank you very much don't forget to subscribe thank you